hope you're all doing well. Uh, sorry for a sleepy face and sleepy voice today. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the HX Stomp here. So, it's been a year now, uh, basically, almost a year. I'm playing it, thanks to John Cordy. <laughs> and I really love this thing. I think it's awesome what they can do nowadays with modders and stuff. The effects are crazy good, it's so simple to use, intuitive, you know, uh, so convenient, and yeah, I really love it. The thing is, through a few weeks ago now, I plugged the guitar again into Amplitude 3, because I was big Amplitude 3 users before I got the stone for many, many years. And I really liked the feel of Amplitude 3, okay? Uh, and before using Amplitude 3, I was just plugging into amps, crazy loud amps, you know, I had the luxury, is that even English? <laughs> but the luxury to play through uh, crazy loud amps, not wondering about neighbors and stuff, you know. So I went from playing through loud amps to Amplitude 3 for years to HX Stomp. And as I was saying, recently I plugged the guitar again into Amplitude 3, and there was something about the feel that I really loved about Amplitude, that I couldn't find in the stomp. It's nothing about the quality of the tones of the sound, you know, because the HX stomp sounds much, much, much better than Amplitude 3, which is like a 12 years old version of Amplitude now. But it really is about feel, about how it feels like under the fingers. And when I'm playing Amplitude 3, I feel like playing an amp, basically, in the room, you know? And I guess that's kind of a feeling every guitarist is trying to reach with any modeler or unit. So that's kind of how I was feeling the last few weeks. I was feeling like HX Stomp sounds much, much better, but my old version of Amplitude feels a lot better to play to me. But I have some kind of a philosophy here with this kind of modelers nowadays anyway. 10 years ago it would have been different, I guess, but nowadays with modelers like the HX Tom, for example, here, if you don't like the tones, if you don't like the feel or something, I think, like, it's all on you, if that makes any sense. Like, they can do anything, basically, so if it doesn't sound good enough or doesn't feel good enough, I think it's all on you at the end. So the last few weeks, I put a lot of effort in trying to make the HX Tom feels like my old version of Amplitude, basically. So to show you real quick, in Amplitude, uh, if I open Amplitude right here, there's one thing in Amplitude that changes everything about Phil, in my opinion. This is the room here in the cab section, uh, the room settings, like it changes everything. When you crank the level up here, it feels like you're playing in a room, really. It sounds like it and it feels like it. It's I love it. I love this little setting right here and it works super nice. But this setting here isn't on the stomp, you know? So I've tried everything from compressors, uh, beginning or end of a chain, you know? I did try the impedance, I did try different reverbs, the room reverbs, etc, etc. I did try, obviously, in the cap section on the HX stomp, you have the easy ref early reflections. Sorry, I quite like these settings, but it's not doing the job I want. I did also try the dual path stuff with like two speakers, one left, one right. I did try EQs like the low eye shelf, I think it's called. Uh, John has a video about this. It, it can work actually, it does something to it, you know. Some of these things were helping a bit, you know, with feel and all that, but I wasn't getting quite there. Until I think I finally found what works for me. And this is in the reverb section, actually. And this acts exactly like the thing I showed you in the cap section of uh, Amplitude 3. And this reverb is called the tile one. So let's hear about the difference here. This is without. And with it. and 
with it. To me, under the fingers, it feels much better. I feel like I have much more dynamic and it sounds much more like if I was in the room playing an amp. So it definitely seemed to work for me. I've only found out about this last night actually, so I will need to experiment a bit more for sure. But uh, for example, so this is without. Okay, and this is with it. The great thing is you can uh, basically tweak it as you want, you know. So if you want to make it feel like um, a small room, basically, you have to uh, decrease, yeah, decrease the decay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and you can play with a mixed. Okay, uh, if I increase the decay again. feels like a larger room to play and it's so realistic to me so the mix is, is quite high right now but you can play with it definitely so for example right now it's at 50 percent If I turn it off, okay, let's increase the mix again, even more. for sure but it feels really good actually it feels really great uh, so that combined with like a compressor or an EQ and something it can I think I will be able to find a way to make it feel exactly how I like it to feel you know but let's try with overdrive now because I think it sounds even more awesome with overdrive uh, I'm gonna turn the tile reverb off and we're gonna add a good amount of drive because that's always fun right so the tile is off right now <laughs> Okay, let's turn it on. it feels much better to play honestly uh, and of course you have to be careful when it's in the mix uh, so it's not too wet but if you are like me uh, not really really enjoying the feel of the HX stomp I dare you to try this style reverb here the style setting basically for me it acts exactly like a room for your cab. I'm gonna experiment with it of course even more uh, to see if I can get even better results for sure but i just wanted to share that with you all so hopefully that will help uh, one of you <laughs> that would be really nice i'll see you later have fun stay safe and be funky as always <laughs> bye ciao, ciao.